video is going to be an eyeshadow, an eyeliner, um, makeup tutorial. I already did the full face, so that's what you're seeing here. Um, I applied my primer, my foundation, my concealer, my bronzer, my blush, and my highlighter already. Um, and I also filled in my eyebrows. Um, so literally the only things that I haven't done yet are my lipstick and everything on my eyes. So I don't have mascara on or eyeshadow or eyeshadow base or any of that. So this video is solely going to be an eye tutorial. So this will be a shorter video than my other tutorials, which is really what I wanted to go for because I know a lot of my recent videos have been pretty long. So um, yeah, I'm looking forward to making a shorter video today. I'm also filming um, another video after this, so stay tuned. There's going to be some really great content coming up and I'm super excited about it. Alright, so let's get into this. Today I'm going to be going in with ta -da, the new Carly Bible Deluxe Palette. The first thing you're gonna wanna do is you're wanna gonna you're gonna wanna grab a um, transition shade and also a thicker crease brush like this. I don't know if it's zooming in. There we go. Today I am using the Sigma E38 brush. It's just a thicker crease brush than, for example, this one right here, which is a Morphe M412. So as you can see, the Morphe M412, which is this one right here, is more pointed at the end. It is a precision crease brush. So that is used more to get in directly in the crease. And guys, it really is all about the brush you use. That is what makes or breaks whether your eyeshadow looks absolutely fire or if it's just, you know, just plain and random and you can't really see the colors. So first I'm going in with my Sigma E38 brush, which like I said is perfect for transition shades, which is the color that is gonna go right above here. Um, not up to your brow bone, but close to it because we are going to go in on our brow bone with a different color later on using that precision crease brush. So I'm starting with this brush and I'm going to go in with a color that is natural. Um, it's not going to be too strong. So my perfect transition shade on this palette is this one right here in the upper left hand corner of the palette and I'm just gonna tap some on just like that and I'm gonna go in and I just go up like this and as you can see the color payoff on this eyeshadow is absolutely incredible it's really 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 good stuff already I'm already obsessed with it it blends out so easily all right so that is my transition shade and it just gives your eye a little bit more dimension on this side rather than as you can see it's just there's nothing there <laughs> on that side so we're gonna do the same thing on the other eye I don't want to do like a orange peach look today with this palette I was thinking more of like a mauve look um, using a little bit of browns and mostly these purples here, these mauve tones. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to switch brushes and I'm going to go with that precision brush, brush that I was talking about earlier, that Morphe one. And it has the pointed tip like so. Yep, like that. So I'm going to take, I'm going to take this shade right here tap that in and I'm gonna directly go in my crease with this shade. You're gonna wanna go in with a very light, light hand at first. Like that. A 
Okay, so that's like a very rough example of what, what you want to do. Now in the outer corners, the trick here is to put the point of the brush right here and wing it out a little bit, like this. And that's just kind of going to give it a little curve and a little bit more dimension rather than just leaving it all blank here. So I'm going to take a little bit more of that same shade and I'm going to go in and fill right here in. You normally want the outer corners to be your heaviest, like you want the color payoff to be the heaviest on the outer corner. And then you just bring it in and blend it all together. And I love the way that that orange shade blends with this mauve shade so much. And I'm gonna go into this eye and I'm gonna take that same shade and do that same exact thing. Remember, very light hand at first, and then you can go in and make it a little bit heavier after. It's better than just going right in with a heavy hand and then not being able to fix it and having to do it all over again. So just keep that in mind when applying eyeshadow. Light is better. I'm gonna do that same thing with this outer corner, kind of bring it out a little bit to a little point. I'm gonna go back in, make the outer corners a little bit heavier. So, and then you just blend it all together. And don't worry about if it gets on your eyelid a little bit. That's fine. We're gonna go over the eyelid in a different color anyways and it will all be fine. Don't stress out about it. <laughs> Next thing we are going to do is we're gonna go in with our lid shade and we're gonna use a different brush for this. Let me go grab it. Okay, so I am going to go in with this brush right here. It is just a gold tart brush. So for the lid, I'm gonna go in with this shade right here. It's another mauve shade. And I'm just gonna put that all over the lid. like so. This is the perfect, perfect color with the transition shade and the crease shade. And don't worry about the in-between crease and lid awkward section there. We're gonna go in and fix that. We're gonna put more of that transition shade on there, not the lid color. So I'm gonna go in again and I'm just gonna put it on the other eye. Okay. Perfect. And if you hear like a creaking noise, that's my chair. <laughs> it's just, it always does that. So I'm gonna go back in with that pointed brush that I was talking about earlier today that I used in my crease. And I'm just gonna use this brush to go back in with that crease color. That same mauve per, uh, crease color we used earlier. And this is just going to bring it all together. And same thing on the other eye. Perfect. Now we're gonna go with our, in with our brow bone color. And I'm just gonna wipe this brush off and I'm gonna apply it with the same precision crease brush, the Morphe M412. We're gonna go in with this shade in the palette, which was in her old palette, if you are familiar with her old one. This one right here is incredible and I use it every single day of my life, no matter what palette I'm using. I think it's the best brow bone color. And we're just gonna highlight our brow bone, which is this area right here. So I'm gonna go in with that. And it just brightens up the area so much. It's just great and it goes with any look you do. All right. 
gonna do the same thing on the other eye. It just brightens it just that extra bit. It's not overpowering like some brow bone highlights. I'm very picky with my brow bone highlight, honestly. Because it can look a little too much if it's too strong. I'm gonna take my blending brush, which is that fatter one that I used earlier, and we're just gonna dust it over our entire crease so that everything blends together, like so. So that there's no harsh lines. All right, so that's our eyeshadow. Our eyeshadow is already done. I will be putting eyeshadow on the bottom here in a little while. I'm gonna do that after I do my eyeliner. So for my eyeliner, I'm gonna be going in with the, the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner. It looks like this. And right now, it is like my favorite eyeliner. So we're just gonna go in with this. And this is gonna be very hard to apply on camera like it always is. I'm just gonna take it and go like this. I'm using my mirror, just so you guys know. I'm gonna do a very thin line at first. And a tight line first. And what tight lining does is it just gets that in between area between your um, eyelashes and where your eye under eyelid is. I'm just going to skip to when my eyeliner is done. Okay. Okay, so eyeliner is done as good as it will be today. I honestly don't have the patience right now to try to film this on camera. I just tried to film it for a good 30 minutes and my camera, my lens would not focus. So I definitely have to do some research on my camera and figure out how I can solve that issue. But for now, eyeliner's done, we're gonna move on. I'm gonna be using the NYX Treasure Lee eyeliner on the bottom lash line. So I'll do that right now, and I'm going to be actually using my camera to do this. So I'm just going to take it and go in. And every single product that I've used today is cruelty-free and vegan. So keep that in mind. It's um, very, very important that you do keep that in mind. Next, I'm going to go in with mascara. So I'm going to be going in with this Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. It is my all-time favorite mascara. There's nothing that compares to it in my opinion. It just turns no eyelashes into eyelashes. It's incredible. And make sure that you swipe up and down on your eyelashes so that you get a natural color of your eyelashes co covered. Like mine are not black, mine are brown, the color of my hair. Okay, so as you can see, this eye compared to this eye, there is an enormous amount of a difference naturally. So I'm gonna go in with this eye also. And then curl them. Alright, so there they are. Before I go in with my bottom lashes, I'm actually going to take that eyeshadow underneath my eye like I told you I was going to do earlier. 
So that's the first step and I'm gonna take that same Carly Bible palette and I'm gonna go in with this solid brown shade. There's no shimmers in it. You never wanna go in with a shimmer underneath your eye. It would just look a little bit crazy and it would not look right, trust me. So I'm gonna go in with that. I'm just gonna take it like this and move it underneath. Like so. And just keep dipping your brush in if you don't have enough product in it and you're gonna go right along your lash line. Like that. Just makes it a little bit more defined underneath the eye. It makes your eye look a little bit rounder underneath here and it just thickens it up a little bit more. I just love this little trick. It it more more than more or less just shapes your eye. And I drag it all the way into the inner corner. Okay. So that is that and now is when I go in with the mascara underneath. I don't use the same mascara underneath and the reason for that being um, the Better Than Sex mascara does run. So if I were to put it underneath here, it would be all smudged and black under here within an hour or so. So that's the only thing I don't like about it. It is definitely only a um, top coat mascara, like a top lash mascara, not an under lash. Um, this is the only product I will be using today that is not cruelty free or vegan. And it is the Dior, uh, Dior Show, oh, let me turn it the right way, Dior Show Mascara. And this was given to me a while ago and it's in my collection and I kind of just want to use it up and get it out of my collection. Because like most of you know, I would like most of my collection, well all of my collection to be cruelty free and vegan. So yeah. So I'm just gonna go in with this. Hopefully it'll be gone soon. Um, <clears throat> but I'm not gonna lie and say that it's not a good mascara because it is. It's a very good under eye concealer. Um, mascara. <laughs> so I just go like this. Oh, I have an eyelash like right here. Cute. And my under, my lashes under my eyes are just as long is my upper lashes. Okay, and then the other eye. And that just happened. <laughs> that just happened. And it just happened again. This is what happens when you try to film um, mascara and eyeliner on video. You fuck up. <laughs> so we're just gonna leave that there. We're literally not gonna touch it now because otherwise it will be ruined. It will ruin the entire face makeup. So we're just gonna leave it there for like two minutes and let it dry and then we'll take it off. Because if you go right in and you don't let it dry, then it's an absolute nightmare. And another tip is I usually go under and brush under my lower lashes so that they don't get on my under eye makeup. Okay guys, so this is the completed look. Um, my lips right now is the shade Taupe by MAC. And I know this isn't cruelty free or vegan either. Um, but like I said, I'm trying to get rid of them, so. And I unfortunately have a huge MAC collection. So that is the completed look. I thought that I really liked the color of this lipstick with this look because it contrasts a little bit, but it also gets a lot of that like orangish shade in there with a hint of brown, um, hence the name taupe, but yeah. So I'm really happy with the way that this look came out and I hope you guys did too. I think it tied together really nicely, the peach blush. Um, it's Wet n Wild Apricot Blush, by the way, and the bronzer is um, Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer, 
Foundation is Tarte Amazonian Clay, and concealer is NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Vanilla. Um, the eyebrows are Anastasia Beverly Hills, the brow pencil, because they were out of my shade in store and I just needed something, um, in the shade Soft Brown, and I do like it, but I do not like it as much as the brow is, so I am waiting for that to come back in stock. So. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Um, I really enjoyed doing this tutorial for you guys. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope that it's not too long and um, yeah, so I'm glad to be on here doing this tutorial for all of you. It was fun and it's something that I just love doing, of course, so yeah. Thank you guys so, so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. <laughs> Bye.